वेलकम एवरीबॉडी आई एम प्रोफेसर दिग्विजय गोरे आई एम परस्यूइंग माई पी एडी अंडर द टॉपिक ऑफ कॉपर ऑक्साइड थिन फिल्म्स एंड हेयर आई एम गॉन आ डिस्कस माई फर्स्ट प्रोग्रेस रिपोर्ट दिस इज द आउटलाइन ऑफ माई टू डेज प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ स्टडी दैट इज अ रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम देन वी विल मूव टू द सोल्यूशन देन वी विल सी टू सेटअप्स गैस सेंसर सेटअप एंड अ स्प्रे पायलोसिस सेटअप देन वी विल डिस्कस द माई अप्रोच विद द कॉप ओवन then we will discover the nano world and then uh, we will go to the my progress and my future plan so the significance of study uh, due to the industrial revolution we come across the environmental pollution problem and there are so many toxic gases they need to be detected because they badly affect our body like uh, here i have discussed the effect of exposure to the no2 gas where the uh, some body parts will badly affected then we will discuss the uh, acetone effect on a body where 1.8 ppm concentration is uh, somewhat uh, non toxic but beyond it we have to take some measurement which is a unhealthy environment and uh, in the right corner there is a effect of exposure to the carbon monoxide uh, where we can clearly see as a concentration increases time required to for the death is decreases and there are some newspaper cut off cut out which clearly indicates the seriousness of this problem so we know that there is a need of a good gas sensor so there are many gas sensor available in a market uh, like a uh, electrochemical one where the current detection is a parameter based on which the gas is detected the metal oxide one where the resistance change is detected the catalyst one where temperature is detected and optical the spectrometric change is detected and here i have personally um, choose the metal oxide because they have uh, sensitive they are sensitive they have uh, very much uh, more stability with the humidity and uh, of course it is of a low cost but why to choose the particular metal oxide uh, materials in the, as a sensor because metal oxide shows some different properties than their pure metal form and they often treated as a semiconductor one and uh, why to choose particular metal oxide because uh, they, they have high conductivity relatively high band gap uh, they can produce electron hole pair uh, good mechanical properties uh, they can show high thermal stability is there and most important for the sensing application is a reversible surface interaction with the target gas molecule is possible there and remember my mark the resistance is very sensitive to the presence of impurities and which is going to we which is going to discuss in a, our uh, doping slide so there are uh, many applications depending on high concentration and low concentration gas detection and uh, there is a market key players i have discovered because i believe that your research and current market scenario should go parallelly in a same direction and uh, here are some companies from pune mumbai and bangalore uh, i tried to connect and uh, at globally also i have uh, explored those companies and uh, here is a market capture for the gas sensors where in a 2022 it is of 1.4 billion dollars but it will surely move to the 2.1 billion dollars in upcoming few years and uh, i want to note down the point here that um, ceo of new york the electronics is a retired physics professor and we have really nice conversation about the product and the manufacturer of am electronics has promised me to convert my research into the product uh, current market product well here is a sensing unit uh, on a, on the left side i have drawn that figure and on the right side i have purchased that uh, sensing unit uh, here is a sensing cap to provide the inner surface from the dust sensing cap the sensing layer is there uh, which is we are going to making in the form of a, a copper oxide thin films then the electrodes are connected and resistance measurement is a um, quite uh, we have um, 
really uh, detected to uh, produce the good gas sensor. This is the spray setup. Uh, here I have drawn this figure and uh, where I have shown some parts, the compressor uh, which monitors the pressure, uh, the spray nozzle uh, through which the our precursor solution is sp sprayed on a glass substrate. This is the glass substrate and this is the uniform thin film we obtain from the spray. And of course there is a heater which heats the glass substrate to make the porous films. Well, uh, up to this, we have seen that we have to make a gas sensor with the copper uh, metal oxide films, but which metal oxide should be selected? And I come up with the copper oxide because it is a stable P type semiconductor, uh, which often treated as a, uh, some, it is a, a P type, uh, stable P type semiconductor. It is of a non-toxic uh, hold, uh, electron hold doping can be possible with the various oxidation state like uh, uh, Cu plus, Cu2 plus, Cu3 plus. The two phases uh, can be formed here, the Cu2O and CuO. Cu2O has a slightly higher band gap than the Cu2O and beyond the 300 uh, centigrade, we can have the pure Cu2O films. And of course, uh, Cu2O has a cubic structure, Cu2O has a monoclinic structure. And there I have shown some applications uh, where the copper oxide should potentially be used in a gas sensor, supercapacitor, antibacterial copper oxide shows excellent antibacterial properties in a memory store to store the memory and solar cell. And there are some other applications I have shown. So need of a doping. Uh, here we have made a cop pure copper oxide thin films but we have to dope certain materials to enhance some properties. What is doping? Doping is creating the defects in a pure structure. So it is a defect creation to enhance the conductivity, the band gap engineering and uh, loosely valence band electron can be obtained which plays the important role uh, to affect the morphology. The morphology of a film is really needed because uh, it can trap the targeted gas molecule to show some resistance and which lead to the detection of a gases. So uh, why to dope particular cobalt and uh, iron in a copper oxide films? Because they have same, uh, comparably same ionic radius, uh, they are non-toxic, same valency states can be shared by those and oxygen vacancies can be formed in a structure. Uh, the ionic radii of uh, pure copper oxide is uh, mm, I think uh, 0.75 Armstrong and uh, for the cobalt it is a 0.73 Armstrong. So essential uh, for the um, essentials of a thin film for the solar uh, sensor application. Uh, high roughness sh uh, should be on a film uh, to enhance the high selectivity sensitivity and porous film should be formed to uh, form a compact and dense structure. Well, this is the graphical abstract I have drawn for my upcoming research paper where I have uh, shown the doping of cobalt on a copper oxide films to obtain the um, film we required. And welcome to the world of a nano. What is nano? Nano is something the material has uh, at least one dimension nearly in between the range of 1 to 100 nanometers, at least one dimension. And uh, there are two types of nanoparticles can uh, uh, obtained in a nature. One is a naturally and second one is artificial one. The silicon op uh, oxide dust on a beach is a naturally occurring and liquor gas cup uh, formed by Nova, uh, Romans in ancient time is a super example of a uh, thin film formation in an ancient times uh, which is uh, in a category of artificial obtained nanoparticles and uh, do you know who is the first one to publish the research paper on nano it is sir michael faraday uh, he has some done some experiment with the gold nanoparticles we know that the bulk gold is of a yellow color 
as we reduce the size up to the 100 nanometers it will turn into orange as i have already shown and as we reduce the size further the 50 around 50 nanometers it will turn into green one and why everyone is fascinating about the nano means everyone is doing research in a nano because they provide the high surface to volume ratio and uh, what are the uh, what are the benefits of it uh, higher surface to volume ratio uh, for example uh, here is a cube of 10 cm and there is a cube of 2 cm but large cube has a smaller surface to volume ratio that is 0 0.6 and smaller cube has a larger surface to volume ratio that is 3 so more atoms can include in a chemical reaction and which is uh, if it efficiently effect of uh, use of a material that's why everyone is uh, curious about the nano and for here uh, for the size comparison then corona size is also 1.25 nanometers and uh, there are two movies uh, into which the effective use of nanotechnology is shown in a terminator they have shown the nanobots which control the other uh, other machines and in iron man uh, the nano uh, suits is uh, already shown uh, and i think those uh, directors have really long vision which will become a reality in upcoming 50 to 60 years if we took one hair of a robert downey jr we can see that the dimension of a hair is a uh, around 100 micrometer but on, on that surface on this uh, uh, highlighted surface there can be 5 lakh nanoparticles can sit and uh, this is the size comparison we can compare nanoparticle on a ball same as a ball on earth so this is my progress in the last 5 to 6 months in july and uh, june i have done a coursework in three subject i have obtained certificate in july i have done literature around 67 research papers in August, I have made a synopsis and face RRC meeting. In September, I have done my uh, admission procedure. And in December, I have developed my research, uh, research skills uh, like a digital drawing and uh, some uh, data representation skill, which is reflected in my slides. Well, this is the literature review I have done. Uh, the previous work of course uh, i have collected all the research papers i have made my own database and i have classified it into three forms that is doping method and application one here i have highlighted my targeted research papers this is the um, literature review again for the single research paper in which i have uh, in a tabular form i have made it uh, which sample is used what method is chosen at what temperature what are the properties we have obtained from it and what is the reason behind those properties and application and reference this is the literature review targeted to the sensing application which gas is sensed at what temperature what is sensitivity uh, the recovery and response time and again the concentration in a ppm parts per million well, this is my future plan where I will first choose the precursor solution for pure copper oxide to make I, uh, I think I will use uh, the copper acetate solution to make the pure copper oxide thin films then I will choose the best cleaning method then I will um, form a pure thin film then I will dope those two materials into it then I optimize some spray mat uh, parameters I will play with uh, them and uh, like um, those parameters are temperature distance and spray rate and then i will improve the sensing uh, performance of pure copper oxide films like uh, selectivity sensitivity and then uh, further i will uh, study the effect of uh, humidity and aging of that thin films and uh, i think we should personally develop our skills like uh, paper writing skill data representation skill digital drawing and market connection we have uh, what is necessary in today's world well i would like to note down the point here is i would love to do the antibacterial and gamma irradiation testing to uh, um, which is uh, outside of my framework well this is the research paper i have published in an international 
conference about a G20 under the theme that uh, um, scientific contribution by the G20 countries. And uh, here the nano science dynamics new trends in uh, G20, uh, where I have shown uh, the diagrammatically the contribution of each country by uh, in a nano world. Well, it is published in uh, UGC Care. And I have created some research IDs into famous platforms like uh, LinkedIn, Orchid ResearchGate and uh, Google Scholar where I have added my previous research with the proper DOI numbers. And well, thank you everybody. I think uh, we should explore and we should uh, discuss our research problem with each other and we should evolve. Uh, this is what uh, the today's condition demands. Thank you.